What's going on? How you guys doing? Old dog Anton Pure to chill here. That's my artist name. I'm a recording artist. One name, three personalities. Old dog Anton Imperial the chill. Old dog is kind of like a little thug. He's a he's a gangster. He's a thug. He's sexually explicit, but he likes to have fun. You know, he's a clown. He's a nerd. He's a dork and things like that. That is old dog. Anton Imperial is in the center because Anton Imperial is more attached to who I truly am. Old dog Anton Imperial the chill. Anton Imperial is all about upliftment education, religious studies, micro and macroeconomics, world history, geographical studies, philosophy, psychology, sociology, physiology, and things like that. That is anti-imperial. And the chill is a hopeless romantic all about falling in love, raising a family, and things like that. And that is who I am, old dog, anti-imperial, the chill. This is Diversity Outspoken. We do this every Wednesday and every Sunday, 9 o'clock p.m. United States Eastern Time Zone. So every Wednesday, 9 o'clock p.m. United States Eastern Time Zone, and every Sunday, 9 o'clock p.m. United States Eastern Time Zone. We call this Diversity Outspoken. Simo underscore Ross Mawawi underscore. I see you. It's all good. We call this Diversity Outspoken because we speak about a diverse range of topics, meaning that we speak about anything and everything, and we are outspoken or straight to the point about those topics. You guys, here on Diversity Outspoken, we have one rule and one rule only, and that is that you guys remain respectful of the environment of Diversity Outspoken as a whole, and remain respectful of one another. We can agree, we can disagree, just remain respectful of the environment of Diversity Outspoken as a whole, and remain respectful of one another, and everything will be okay. I wouldn't want to block anybody here, but I will if I have to, but I never have to do that with you guys, because we're all a big, happy family, and you guys are always respectful, and I appreciate that. You guys, every day I do a daily historical post, so if you guys ever get bored or just want to see what happened on that particular day, going back decades, going back centuries, or going back thousands of years, you guys can check out my daily historical posts. I post those on Instagram and TikTok every single day. It's better on Instagram because Instagram gives me the space to be as detailed as possible, but I do post those on TikTok nevertheless. In order to get in touch with me on Instagram or TikTok, you can get in touch with me as you see right here on the shirt at anti underscore imperial. Don't forget that underscore. What's going on? What's going on? Kativet Par. Kativet P-A-R. I see you. It's all good. Good to see you. Good to see you. You guys, don't forget that underscore on Instagram and TikTok at anti underscore imperial on Instagram and TikTok at anti underscore imperial on Instagram and TikTok. On YouTube, the only difference between YouTube and Instagram and TikTok is on YouTube there is no underscore. So subscribe to my YouTube, you guys. You can get in touch with me at Anti Imperial with a space in between. YouTube, Anti Imperial with a space in between. Instagram and TikTok, Anti Underscore Imperial. On Instagram and TikTok, you got that, I have that underscore. YouTube, Anti Imperial, space in between. Instagram and TikTok, underscore. YouTube, no underscore. Instagram and TikTok, underscore. YouTube, no underscore. And that's how that goes, you guys. It's all good. Who is that? Michael, Michael D. Wary House. I see you. It's all good. Good to see you. Good to see you. That's the only difference between Instagram and TikTok and YouTube is that Instagram and TikTok, there is an underscore, and YouTube, there is no underscore, you guys. That being said, if you have me on Instagram, the easiest way to subscribe to my YouTube is to go to my Instagram or IG bio page. You guys know we all have an Instagram or IG bio page, and on that Instagram or that IG bio page, we get that one line for a link, and that one line for a link will always be my latest video. So if you have me on Instagram, you can go to my Instagram or IG bio page, you can click that link, that video will come up, it will be a YouTube video, and once that video comes up, all you have to do is go ahead and hit the subscribe button at that particular time, and you'll be subscribed to my YouTube channel, and I appreciate that, you guys. You guys, if you are watching this on YouTube, this will be uploaded onto YouTube. If you are watching this on YouTube, my Instagram and TikTok links are in the description below. So in the description below are my Instagram and my TikTok links if you want to get in touch with me through Instagram or TikTok if you are watching this on YouTube. All right, my people. So um, what are we going to talk about today? So today we're going to talk about proactive versus reactive. So over in the United States, there's a lot going on with the protests and things like that. Um, because of uh, you know numerous deaths that's happened at the, at the at the hands of the police um, in the U.S., but particularly this one, um, George Floyd kind of put it over the edge, and so I'm talking about proactive versus reactive. How is this supposed to stop, right? So a lot of people are protesting. They're like, you know, we're fed up and things need to change. But how? But how can they change? And can they even change? 
they may not be able to change. Right? So we're going to talk about that, you guys. So how is it supposed? How is this supposed to stop? And why? And um, what is going to happen to make it stop? All right. So. First of all, I'm sure everybody saw the, the video. The video was disturbing, right? So the police, um, the way the police was, you know, had his knee on the guy's neck. And he, the police had his hands in his pockets chilling. Chilling. Like he had his hands in his pockets like if he was walking in a park on a sunny, on a sunny, beautiful day. Without a care in the world. Think about that. Think about you're taking the life, the life of an individual is by your hands. The life of an individual, the soul of an individual is leaving his body right beneath you. And he has his hands in his pockets, chilling. Like he's Walking through a walking through a meadow of, of sunflowers, whistling. Pulse, lady, I see you. Chilling. Think about that. Think about how how crazy that must be. That you could have your your knee on somebody's neck, hands in your pockets. As the soul leaves that person's body and you have your hands in your pockets without a care on your face, chilling. As if you're walking through a through a um through a field full of daisies. As if you're walking through a field full of daisies next to a next to a, a pond with birds singing all around you. That's how he had his hands in his pockets, chilling. Ricardo Lopez Eyes 87, I see you. Boss Lady says insanity, it broke her heart. Feel you, Boss Lady. It's about racism, but let me tell you this. Shout out to all the Caucasians who have been out there marching over there in the US. Oh, why Greg? Oh, why Greg? Underscore 489. I see you. What's going on? Shout out to all of them, all the liberals out there, the Caucasian liberals, the white liberals that are out there marching. We appreciate it. Because even though this is about racism as far as the cop goes and things like that, this is about humanity more than it is about racism. And so you see, you see almost as many. White, white people out there and many white hands out there as you do black hands out there, right? Because it's all about humanity and it's all about recognizing that somebody's a human being. And so a lot of people talk about the Karens that like, you know, call the cops on black people all the time for, um, for no reason at all. Those white ladies, those are conservatives. I don't know if you guys understand the difference between a conservative and a liberal. Liberals believe in equality. Those white people out marching with the black people, those white people, as, as Boss Lady says, facts, humanity, there's only one race, the human race, absolutely, Boss Lady. Those individuals who believe in that, those are liberals. Liberal progressives. Main old vent Main O V E N T, I see you. Those are liberal progressives. So understand the legacy and the history of political ideologies. Because a lot of people are running around talking about, oh, these liberal women that call the police, those are conservatives. Conservatives believe in conserving. Con conservatives believe in tradition. Like, if I have a glass of water 
And I don't want to drink it all right now. I want to conserve some of this water for later. I want to keep or hold on to some of this water for later. Conservatives want to conserve, keep, hold on to the past. So conservatives who want to conserve, hold on to, or keep the past, they want to keep past traditions, hold on to past traditions. They believe things like marriage should be between a man and a woman. So they don't believe in like gay marriage. That's a conservative. See? Conservatives, they believe in things like, oh, things should be conserved or maintained or held onto the way they have always been held onto. Like, for example, Mommy Bay, I see you, sister. Like, for example, Boss Lady says, thank you. I learned something new. Love you, Boss Lady. Liberal human here. Boss Lady, you know, I, I'm going to fall in love with you, sister. So, for example, you guys, conservatives who like to conserve or hold on to or maintain the past, conservatives believe that marriage should be between white people marrying white people and black people marrying black people and there should not be interracial marriage or interracial dating because at one particular time in the past that was illegal it was illegal for people that were white and black to be able to be together that was illegal by law in the past so conservatives want to conserve or hold on to or maintain that past. They want to conserve that. So they are conservatives. That is the reason why conservatives will be the ones that will mostly be the racist. They are conservatives. They want to conserve past traditions. The past traditions of black people don't have any rights. The bad, the past traditions of Superstar 617, I see you. May no fan, I, I appreciate it. BW Savage 9, I see you. It's all good. It's all good. So conservatives want to maintain that past. Conservatives want to, they want to say, you know what? Before, gay people had no marriage. Gay people had no rights to get married. We believe that that should be conserved. That past tradition of gay people not being able to get married that past tradition, we want to conserve or hold on to that past tradition. So the past tradition of black people not having the rights to, uh, to certain things. Conservatives want to hold on to or conserve that past tradition. Just like I gave you the example. If I have a hamburger or if I have a, glove, a glass of water, and I don't want to eat all this hamburger right now. And I don't want to drink all this glass of water right now. I may want to hold on to or maintain or conserve this hamburger or this glass of water until later. You know what? I don't feel like eating all this hamburger right now. I want to hold on to some of this hamburger for later. I want to maintain this hamburger for later. I want to conserve this hamburger until later. That's a conservative. Conservatives want to hold on or maintain past traditions, you guys. They don't like change. Conservatives are mostly in the Republican Party, like Trump and them. So when you see like, oh man, why is Trump supporters Tony the Man 70? Tony the man seven zero, I see you. Boss Lady and Superstar 617 connecting. I love our family here. So when you see like the Republican Party or conservatives in the Republican Party, like Trump and them, Trump supporters, when you see Trump supporters and they're like white racists, because Trump is in the Republican Party. Trump's a Republican. Republican Party is full of conservatives who want to conserve past traditions. What are past traditions? Oh, in the past, black people had no rights. In the past, black people were lower than white people. Therefore, we want to maintain that past. We want to conserve that past. That's that Republican Party, you guys. 
J A J O A R O 27 Gyro number 27 Gyro 27 I see you so that would be a conservative so when you see all the Karens who call the cops on black people at barbecues black people just doing regular stuff those are conservative women white conservative women okay white conservative women Liberals believe in the opposite. Liberals believe in equality. They're called liberal progressives. Liberalism means equality. Progressive means to move forward into the future. When you progress, you move forward. Therefore, you guys, conservatives you hold on or conserve or hold on to the past. Progressives, you move forward. You progress. You progress into the future. And those are the two sides. Conservatives and liberal progressives. Liberal progressives progress into the future based on liberalism, equality. Liberalism, equality, progressive, move into the future. Move forward, progress forward into the future. And that's how we get the two different ideologies politically. Those who will want to conserve the past, conservatives, who want to hold on or maintain past traditions, past traditions of gay people not having rights, black people not having rights, women not having rights. That is conservative. They want to conserve or maintain or hold on to past traditions. And on the other side, you have liberal equality, progressives move into the future. The opposite. Conservatives hold on to the past. Progressives move into the future. Conservatives hold on to the past. Progressives move into the future. So when you see Obama, for example, the last progressive president, Obama was a liberal progressive. So Obama believed in liberalism, equality for everybody, and progressiveness, moving forward into the future. So Obama was like, you know what? I'm going to give gay people the right to get married because we're going to move forward into the future and change things. We're going to progress. We're going to see progress, moving forward, moving ahead. Progressives. That is the Democratic Party, liberal progressives, moving forward, progressives, based on equality, liberalism. That is the Democratic Party, Democratic Party, liberal progressives, Republican Party, conservatives. The political parties, you guys, Republican and Democrat, really don't matter. What matters is the ideology. Is somebody a conservative and wants to hold on or maintain past traditions? Or is somebody a liberal progressive and wants to move forward based on equality? That's all that matters. Those are the two sides that matter, you guys. And based on what side somebody is depends on how they are going to see things in the world. That's it. That's it. So, conservatives, yes, will be more racist, you guys, because racism is based on economics. Racism is based, racism is based on, I don't want these people who look like this to be on my level because I want to control everything and be the most powerful. So, white people who are at the top are conservatives because they are racist. A lot of them are racist because, you guys, they don't want to give up power to minorities. They don't want to give up money to minorities, freedom and power, you guys. So they're conservatives because they want to conserve or hold on to or maintain past laws, past traditions of white people at the top and minorities are beneath us. I want to conserve that, hold on to that, maintain that past tradition. And therefore, conservatives, who are mostly in the Republican Party, a lot of times will be racist, and that's how that goes. 
On the other side, you have liberal progressives, you guys. And liberal progressives who are more like hippies, right? Liberal progressives believe, you know what? I don't think we did things right in the past. I think we should progress forward or move forward based on equality. So we are liberal progressives. We should change what was going on in the past. We should move forward and change the past laws. We should make everybody equal. That is a liberal progressive. So like I say, I appreciate all the white Caucasian liberals who are out there protesting with all the black people. And like I said, you see just as many or even more white faces and white hands than you do black hands protesting over there in the US. Because it's all about humanity. We need to become more proactive instead of reactive. That's gonna be part two. This is part one, proactive versus reactive, you guys. My heart goes out to George Floyd, his family, everybody else, you guys. George Floyd was just the, the straw that broke the camel's back. There's been many. But to be able to, as I said in the beginning, you guys, to be able to have your knee on somebody's neck and have their life leave them, have their soul leave them, and you have your hands in your pockets like you're chilling, like it's a sunny, beautiful day. That police officer had, that police officer was witnessing the life and soul of George Floyd leave his body. And the police officer had his hand in his pocket. Who is that teacher, teacher YU2017, teacher YU, teacher the letter Y, the letter U2017, I see you. That police officer had his hands in his pocket as George Floyd's soul and life was leaving his body and the teacher had his hands in his pocket just chilling as if he was walking through a, a field of sunflowers whistling whistling with pleasure that's how he was chilling Doug E. E. Fresh I see you Dougie Fresh that's so crazy that you could just be killing another human life and your hands in your pockets just like you have just like you have no worries in the world flash not you in 2019 I see you it's crazy you guys let me just say this and I'll, I'm going to repeat this next time I come on. That's not you and my brother. I always miss you, boss lady. <laughs> I'm going to repeat this next time I come on also. And I'm going to come on, I believe. I should come on tomorrow. I think I might come on tomorrow or the next day. Real Housewives, Cortland Ryan, the beautiful Cortland Ryan, I see you. Let me just say this, and I'm not going to be here too much longer. I hear a lot of people from over there in the U.S. talking about, and I'm going to slightly touch on this because I'm going to go deeper. I'm going to go deeper tomorrow, I believe. Thank you, boss lady. I appreciate that. She says, you look amazing. Well, thank you, boss lady. I love you, sister. I think I'm going to come back on tomorrow. I'm going to go deeper tomorrow. You guys. I hear a lot of people talking about it and black people talking about why do we vote? Voting doesn't matter. People are stupid to vote. Michael Drury House says transsexual black man was killed last week. Nobody mentioned him. Sorry to hear that, Mike. 
I didn't hear anything about that. You know, I live over here in Asia, so I don't really hear too much about U.S. news. I just try to get it, get, try to get as much as possible. But I, you know, you guys know I work as a as a um, as a consultant, governmental consultant, political consultant, economic consultant. So I've been on meetings. I'm on Zoom meetings with governmental individuals all the time. Doing good, Cortland Ryan. My heart and soul goes out to that transsexual black man. You guys know, no matter who you are, you're always accepted here in anti-imperialist world. It doesn't matter who you are, what you believe, what you worship. Everybody's equal here. My heart goes out to that individual. Voting is the only thing that matters, people. For everybody who says voting doesn't matter, that is ignorant. You guys are imbeciles and you guys are idiots. Everybody who's black over there talking about, man, that's why I don't vote. Voting doesn't matter. Voting doesn't matter. Y'all can like walk into like any McDonald's whenever you want to, right? Y'all can walk into Target or like y'all can walk into like Target or like Home Depot or Walmart and buy what you want. Or does it, or do, do the people at, at, at the front of Target and Home Depot and Walmart, do they stop you and say you can't come in here because you black? Eduardo underscore FMG, I see you. Eduardo underscore FMG. Y'all can do that, right? Like, y'all can walk into a restaurant and buy what you want, correct? Like, y'all can call Uber Eats or DoorDash or whatever and get stuff delivered to your crib, correct? Like, y'all can, y'all can, um, I don't know, y'all can go to school, right? Like, you can enroll your, your, your student in school, correct? Like, you can go to the gas station and put gas in your car, right? Like, if you have the money to be able to buy a certain house in a certain neighborhood, you can buy that house, correct? I mean, NBA players, like, big time, like, celebrities who are black, they buy houses in rich neighborhoods, correct? Or, or does the, 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 the housing people tell them, oh, no, no black people can live in this neighborhood. I don't care how much money you fucking have. Does that happen? Because if I'm not mistaken, basketball players and football players and all these rappers and stuff like that, they buy these houses and condos in these rich neighborhoods, correct? You have food in your, if you're black in the United States, you have food in your house, correct? Because you went to the grocery store and was able to buy food, correct? Thug Life underscore Rio, Thug Life underscore R R I O. I am Nancy GX3. I see you. What's going on, Nancy? I mean, you guys can do that, correct? I hear you flashing out here. I was speaking about that. I'll go back to it. You guys can do that, correct? You guys can get whatever you want when you want. Target can't turn you back, Home Depot can't turn you away. If you have the money to buy a house, you go buy that house. If you have the money to buy a car, does the car dealership say, oh, we don't sell to black people? Does Audi say that? Or Mercedes-Benz say that? Or BMW say that? Even though you have the money? Do they say that? No, they don't say that. You know why you can go, if you have the money, you can go buy whatever car you want to buy. You know why you can walk into Target whenever you want to and go buy what you want to buy? Do you know why you can walk into a McDonald's whenever you want to and you don't go starving? You can go to the grocery store as a black person whenever you want to. Do you know why? Because of the, all the civil rights acts that were passed, you guys, during the civil rights era. How were all the civil rights acts passed? The Voting Act. The Civil Rights Act, the Housing Act. How how was all of that passed? How is that how is it that you guys have all those rights today? Every all the black people talking about voting doesn't matter. You guys can get on YouTube, right? Like 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 YouTube can't tell you, oh, you know what? We we don't allow black people on our YouTube. You guys can get on Instagram, right? Like Instagram can't tell you, you know what? Instagram is white is owned by a white person. We don't want no black people on Instagram. Like like black people are on YouTube, correct? Black people are on Instagram, correct? Black people are on Facebook, correct? 
they can't turn you away, correct? Because it is illegal for them as business owners, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. It says it's illegal as business owners for them to turn you away, Target, Home Depot, McDonald's, Taco Bell. It's illegal as business owners for them to turn you away based on the color of your skin because of the Civil Rights Act, the law that was passed in the Civil Rights era. And how was it passed? Oh, it was passed because of John F. Kennedy, President Kennedy who got assassinated and his vice president who became president when JFK got killed, Lyndon Johnson. And how did they create that law? Because Martin Luther King Jr. was meeting with them and they all created the law. Do you think if JFK who was a Democrat, liberal progressive, and Lyndon Johnson who signed those laws, JFK who got assassinated trying to get rights for black people, if they weren't voted into office, you idiots, the law would have never passed. And who voted them into office? The people. But see, this is the thing. Love you, boss lady. It's all good. Oh, thank you, Nancy G. I appreciate it. <laughs> This is the thing. For all of you guys who are running around, all you black people running around talking about, well, this is why I don't vote. This is why you shouldn't vote. This is why you shouldn't vote. Y'all the same people making all these YouTubes and all this type of stuff talking about what's wrong and this is and that and this is what it is and we're so oppressed and this and that and this and that. The only reason why y'all have any rights y'all do have right now is because of the Civil Rights Act laws that were passed during the Civil Rights era. Because of voting. Vic, out here, I see you. Y'all complain about George Floyd. Y'all complain about Trayvon Martin and all that. Y'all complain about that stuff, right? Y'all just want to sit out there and complain. Everybody makes videos about this stuff when things go wrong. Everybody wants to make videos and videos and videos. This is fucked up. This is wrong. This shouldn't have been done. Da -da -da -da. Well, guess what? If you didn't have the governors and the state senators and the state law people and the mayors and judges that weren't against what you guys believed in, then none of that stuff would have happened. How the hell, when Trayvon Martin got killed, Trayvon Martin with the hood, right? Remember the hoodie? And George Zimmerman who got off. When Trayvon Martin got killed by that guy, George Zimmerman, who's walking around today, George Zimmerman got off because of the what? Stand your ground law? Stand your ground law wasn't there since the beginning of time. Who created the stand your ground law? The politicians. The politicians who got into office, who were conservative, who were Republican, because black people didn't vote. But if black people would have voted, then you could have put into office politicians who agree with you and guess what there never would have been a stand your ground law and George Zimmerman never would have been able to get off because the stand your ground law would have never existed because if black people would have voted you guys would have voted the politicians who would have been in power who would have never created the law to begin with But no, I don't want to vote. Voting stupid, voting stupid. So let all the conservative Republicans get into office and because I don't want to vote and I'll just sit back and complain about everything they do. Because I know they're against me. I know, they're, I know, they, I know they want to put, I know they're racist and they want to do everything against me. So I'm not going to vote. 
I'm not going to vote, so I'm going to let them walk into office so that they can do everything against me so I can sit back and just complain. No business in the U.S. Nobody can turn you away today. No business can turn away a black person today. Target can't turn you away. Home Depot can't turn you away. YouTube can't turn you away because you're black. Instagram can't turn you away because you're black. Facebook can't turn you away because you're black. Burger King, Taco Bell, Publix. The mall. They can't turn you away because you're black because of all the laws that were put into place by politicians who were voted into office. Voting is the only power that you have. Why do you think if voting didn't matter, why do you think they killed Martin Luther King for that? JFK because he was working on the voting rights. If voting didn't matter, then, then Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, they wouldn't have been a threat. If voting didn't matter, the white people would have just been like, Martin Luther King Jr., man, march your ass off, man. We don't care if y'all can vote or not. We really don't care. Martin Luther King and them were killed because they were marching to get the right to vote. And white people killed Martin Luther King and the government and them killed Martin Luther King Jr. And all those civil rights leaders, they killed them because they did not want them to get the right to vote. Because the white people understood that if you give them the right to vote, they will start to get more power. If we did not have the right to vote, and if that Voting Rights Act in the 1960s, Civil Rights era, if that did not pass, y'all might not have, the NBA could do whatever the fuck they wanted to do. If they didn't want to have no black people, they wouldn't have to have any black people. The NFL could do what the fuck they wanted to do. Everybody could do, Home Depot, all these companies could do whatever they wanted to do if there wasn't a right to vote. If that Voting Rights Act of 1964 didn't pass, the Housing Rights Act. Who is that? P O O H D A Puda two fifteen Puda two one five. I see you. But like I said, I ain't gonna get too deep into that. I'm gonna come back on tomorrow, y'all. I'm gonna do a special diversity else. I gotta do. I got so much to talk about. You guys, I've been working on a new song. This is re. This is this is proactive versus reactive. Proactive. Versus reactive part one People have to learn how to be proactive All you guys are now are reactive Something happens and everybody complains about it That's reactive If you guys were proactive Trayvon Martin got killed By George Zimmerman Everybody got upset That's reactive If you were proactive, if you were proactive, y'all would have voted and never would have let those politicians, those conservative Republican politicians get into office who created the stand your ground law that got Trayvon Martin killed in the first place. If you were proactive, you would have voted so that those individuals who made that law would have never gotten into office to begin with and Trayvon Martin would have never been able to be killed with his killer walking free. If you were proactive, you would have voted and never let those politicians get into office to begin with. That's proactive. Stop being reactive. Want to get on here and complain all the time? Old dog, game time period of chill. Send all your hate mail. 
<laughs> to old dog anti imperial to chill. <laughs> so working on this new song, you guys. I already wrote the lyrics and stuff for it. It's called Us. And so what it's basically about is, um, it's all about like us and like it's it's, it's hard to explain. So it's all about us, meaning like like black people basically. And so people of color, minorities in, in, in general also, absolutely. But it's all about how, you know, with hip hop controlling the world, hip hop is the number one music genre in the world, right? Number one music genre in the world is hip hop. And how since the beginning of time, everybody loves hip hop. Everybody loves hip hop culture. Who is that? Alojani, A-L-O-J-A-Y-A-N-I, I see you. Everybody loves hip hop and things like that, you guys, right? And being that's the case, um, it's kind of like everybody loves that. It's kind of like everybody loves our style. Like people weren't doing what we were doing until we started to do it. For example, over there in the U.S., guys like to get cars and put rims on it and put music in it and stuff like that. The first people that started hooking up cars were black people back in the temp days in the 1960s and 70s. 50s even. Black people were the first people to start hooking up cars. When it comes to fashion and stuff like that, urban fashion and stuff like that, braids and dreads and stuff like that, everybody just copies that. Everybody loves our music. People, what would sports be without black people? Everybody loves to watch basketball and football. So everybody loves everything about us. You even got white white girls getting butt implants, trying to get bigger butts like black girls. White people going and getting tanned so they can get a little bit darker. Why do you want to be darker? You want to be closer to being black, closer to being darker? White people getting lip injections so their lips look getting bigger like black people. So the song's called Us. That I'm working on that I created. It's called Us. And so it's basically about this is this is for the races. It's not for this is not an anti-white song or not like minorities against white people and stuff like that. It's not an anti-white song. What it is about though, <clears throat> it's about races. Because there's a lot of white racists, white conservatives, white conservative races, white conservative Republican races who Love our love seeing us play sports. They go to all the football games and basketball games. They even listen to our music. They love our style. They love like to see white women who got the butt implants and stuff like that. Like to get closer to being like black girls and things like that. They love that, but they hate our skin color. They love everything about us. Love our music, love everything about us, but they hate us. Y'all love everything about us, but y'all hate us. And so it's called Us, you guys. So <clears throat> I'm going to, uh, next time, on tomorrow, I'm going to come on tomorrow. On tomorrow's Diversity Outspoken, I'm going to let you guys hear the beat. And I might let you guys hear the lyrics. I might let y'all hear the lyrics. But it's a really pretty song. It's called Us. It's called Us, you guys, you know. <clears throat> I am Nancy GX3 says Hispanic love, you guys. For sure, for sure, for sure. You guys know I love my Latino brothers and sisters. Shout out. Definitely. What's going on? I think A-F-I-N-K 2019. I think 2019. And like I said, this song is not about... <clears throat> This song is not about, um, if I could bring the beat up real quick. This song is not about white people, like saying like, oh, white people shouldn't like what we like, or white people this. It's about racists. Because there's so many racists who like everything about black people, who like us playing basketball and football, who like our music and stuff like that. There's so many racists who like us, but hate on us. Who like us, but hate our skin tone. Right? Hate our skin tone. Okay? Yeah, 2020 is terrible. 2020 is terrible. All right, 2020 is definitely terrible. But definitely, you guys, um, 
Let me see, I might just, hold up. Might just, let me see if I could, might just. So what I did was, I got, cause you guys know my speciality, you guys. My speciality is opera and orchestra, writing operas and writing orchestras, that's my speciality. So what I did was, I went and got one of the uh, one of the singers that I write for and I make opera and orchestra music for, and I got her to help me out um, singing a little bit of like, you know, falsetto. <laughs> Sing a little soprano and falsetto. <laughs> it's all good. Singing some soprano, some high soprano for me. Um, and even a little bit of tenor, She, I got her to sing for me. So it is what it is. You guys know that? You guys know what I'm saying? So let me just give you a little a little point. I was playing piano on this, on this song and things like that. Here's the beat. Real sad song, Sasha Regina Smith. Sasha underscore Regina underscore Smith. So this is us, it's a sad song, you hear me playing piano. Love you Sasha, stay safe sis. So I wrote to it already you guys, and so it's a pretty song. I start the song off, it goes um. I got her saying, keep your eyes on me and keep your eyes off me. So basically what it's saying is like <clears throat> all the racists out there, you guys know, they watch, um, they watch black people. They keep their eyes on us. They keep their eyes on the style, what we do, our music, the way we play sports. So all the racists keep their eyes on us, eyes on our skin color. But then they take their eyes off of us because they don't want to look at our skin color. They don't want to appreciate our skin color. So they keep their eyes on us and they keep their eyes off us at the same time. And that's how I start the song off. Keep your eyes on me, keep your eyes off me. So that's kind of how it does, I do it. So I'm gonna let you hear that part. So that's how that goes, you guys. And that's how that goes. So it's called Us, man. So I hope you guys like it, man. I spent a lot of time making it and creating it. All live instruments. That's me playing the piano. One of my opera singers singing the falsetto. Time period to chill, man. I'm gonna come back tomorrow. I appreciate that, Sasha. Nancy G says, I love the melody. Love you, Nancy. Nancy, you know I love you, sister. Sasha Regina Smith, the vocals are beautiful, the music is incredible. I love this so much. Appreciate it, Sasha. Love you, Sasha. You know, I spent so much time on this. Appreciate you guys. I really appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow, man. We're going to continue this proactive versus reactive. 
So you guys can come back tomorrow at 9 p.m. I'll be here. I might even let y'all listen to the lyrics. <laughs> or I might just save it. I'm going to try to put this song out probably by the end of the week if I can. I'll start uploading it and stuff. I got you, Sasha. You guys know I make all my music from scratch. All live instruments, I play all the instruments. If not, I do all the music notation. So, it's all good. Appreciate it, you guys. You guys, I appreciate it, man. I'm going to get out of here. Old dog, Anton, Prior to chill. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it, you guys. Old dog, Anton, Prior to chill. One there, three personalities. I'm going to save you guys because I took up a lot of time with you guys listening to the melody. We're going to get out of here with the melody, you guys. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it, Sasha. I appreciate it, Sasha. But I already got everything done for the song. The song is already done. But I'll, I'll, keep, I'll, I'll keep you in mind for future music. It's all good. But it's all good, you guys. We're going to get out of here. I'll just let the song play out a little bit, you guys. But I appreciate it. Old Dog and Time Period to Chill, man. Until next time, man. Until next time, you guys. Until next time. You guys know I do all the music myself and everything myself, you guys. So it is what it is. But, hey, if you guys have a music a music career or something you want to get started, man, best of luck, man. All I got to say is just keep up with your stuff, man. Don't let anybody take your dreams away, you know? Okay? Keep it up, man. It's all about us, one human race. We're all the same no matter what color your skin is. I love her. I've been working with her for so long. She's Jewish. She's from Israel. And we do a lot of operas. I write operas for her all the time. You guys take care, man. That being said, old dog and time period to chill. You guys take care, man. I appreciate it. Alright. Alright, take care. Peace. Bye.